I love living in Oakland. You know why? Because it's real. When Trump was declared president, we didn't just yell at the TV or make smart remarks on the internet. We went outside. We went outside face to face and made noise. You can sit at home and condemn us on social media, but ask yourself, what were you prepared to do when Trump lost? What would you have done if Trump won the popular vote by 600,000 and the presidency was handed to Hillary anyway? Would you have cried, the system is rigged, like your candidate did? Would you have gone outside? Would you have gathered? Absolutely. So here's what's happening in Oakland. We're not just yelling and breaking stuff. That's just the part that makes the news because the media likes to show you scary things. Protests do bring out angry people and some of those people behave badly. The rest of us apologize for that. But we need to do this. Don't believe your social media brings you the whole story. We came out for ourselves. We held hands. We got together and played music. We shared messages of comfort and for unity. Forming this crowd is an antidote. By going out and getting face to face, this community is breaking the spell of divisiveness cast by the media. This is how a community stays awake and united, by getting face to face, where the things you say and do have consequences. And the consequences of this election are real for us. Our issues aren't with you. Our issues are with that man about to take office and the actions he's been promising. Oh, he won't really build a border wall and deport a million people and ban Muslims. That was just talk, you say. Well, you're right, he won't because we are still here. We are out getting reconnected and getting our confidence back. We won't let this president's rhetoric or the mainstream media keep us divided. And sometimes you need to come out into the street to keep that from happening. So take a break from social media and come on out to Oakland and keep things real with us. And you'll love this place too. Thank you for listening.